two of the things that I've decided to focus on in 2017, personal things, uh, are actually not so much about how do I eat more productivity out of my day, but are actually about how do I manage my own psychology? So how do I set myself up to be more successful uh, in terms of being resilient, in terms of being able to cope with all the things that go on? And they're actually both to do with my phone. So the first thing I've done, and I did it just before Christmas, is I've turned all the notifications on my phone off. So if I want to see my email, I click on email, I go look at it. If I want to see my Slack messages, I have to go check my Slack. And the reason I did this is that I noticed that in the morning, I'm waking up and I go to look at the time on my phone and I see 17 unread emails, six messages, this thing that I need to deal with. And there's a clock ticking in my brain that I need to start working on these things. The second thing that I'm doing actually relates to the same idea and it's something that my wife Greta and I, uh, a commitment that we've made to each other, which is that when we're at home, when we're with our kids, Jude and Casper, that we are much more intentional with how we use our phone and all the related services on it. So the idea is that if I pull the phone out of my pocket at home, I need to turn to one of them and tell them why I've pulled it out, what I'm doing, and when I've done it, put it away. So I can pull it out and say, I'm checking to see whether the Warriors have beat the heat. Okay, yes, they have. I'm gonna put it back in my pocket now. And I'm not gonna allow myself just to check to see if an email has come in or just to check if something else has happened. And we've been doing it for a little while and we're not perfect at it, but it's actually incredible to watch your own psychology. And those two ideas to me are very much about being present and being intentional. And my wife, Greta, is a, uh, an opera singer and a psychologist. You know, she and I talk a lot about this concept of mindfulness and how, how important it is in being able to cope with the craziness that is our lives these days. So those are two things that I'm focusing on for 2017.